Hey guys, this is Goldie again and in this video I'll show you how you can create uh, nicknames or email aliases for your users in bulk. There might be scenarios where you want to create multiple aliases for multiple people and doing that one by one doesn't make sense. There are some tools in the market, either they're expensive or uh, you know they're hard to set up and uh, learning those commands is like a pain. So, uh, I'm going to show you how you can simply do with Google Apps Script right in your uh, Google Sheet. So for that, uh, if you see, I'm going to create uh, just for testing for this user, but you can create for any number of users that you have. So for that, I'll go to uh, Google Sheets uh, and I will create a new sheet because that's where we're going to use our script. So this is my Google Sheet and then I'll go to my script, uh, copy the script from here which you will find uh, in the description of this video or if you're watching this on my website I'll put the script there so first thing you will do once you're in your Google Sheet is you will go to tools and then you will go to script editor once you go there you will uh, delete whatever you have here and then paste the script that you copied once you do it let's name our project maybe let's say alias creator okay and it's gonna save that and this when the script runs it will look for a Google sheet with the name of create alias so let's copy this oops. so let's oops I'm just gonna press control C so I'll copy this go back to my sheet and I will rename the sheet to create alias you don't not name you don't need to name this but if you want name it just say create aliases for example okay and just to explain the script the script uh, will look for two values right uh, in these first two columns the first one should be user key which is the user's primary email address and the second one is the alias ID uh, which is the nickname and in third column script will go and report what was the result whether it uh, was successfully able to create the alias or not so let's uh, the first column is the uh, primary ID and the second is the alias ID okay so once I'm done with this I'm gonna put my primary email address which is this one and then uh, let's see here I'm going to put one two let me create a few email addresses let's create 15 email addresses and this this and at the rate demo.goldiora.com so that's the email address now let's see if we can bring these so these are our email address I'm gonna paste special so that when we delete this column they won't go away and I'm gonna create all of them for this primary email ID but you can mention multiple email addresses like okay so now we have 15 uh, ready to be created as alias you can put maybe 500,000 or whatever number number you have and then I'll go to alias creator uh, you need to go to resources from here and then click on advanced Google services because this uh, will use admin directory API so make sure you turn this on and once you turn it on it will ask you to enable that in Google API console so click on this and once you do that you will be landing here uh, make sure that you click on enable API's and then search for admin SDK click on that and then you enable it it's enabling the API and once that done we should be in a good position to go back and run the script to create those aliases I'm not sure why is it taking that much time okay it's done so I'll go back and say okay and Google will update the changes and once that's done I'll save the script and click on this uh, run button to run the script as soon as I click this it may ask for my permissions because this is the first time running the script I'll review the permissions and uh, 
click on the email address, give the root permission, click allow. And once you do, script is running and it's looking for these two columns and it would put the status in this third column. So let's see, the script is running and as you see, it has put the status that our aliases were created successfully. And now if I go back, here we did not have any alias. Let me just do a quick refresh and I really we should have 15 aliases coming in. Let's see loading okay so as you see now we have 15 aliases right here but in case if you want to you know the script will take care in case if you try to do something wrong for example if I already have the these two aliases and if I try to run the script again it will say that entity already exists so hope that's helpful I will put the script on my website or the video description feel free to run it and uh, uh, put your comments in case if you have any feedback thank you so much